See these center blocks and and, and uh, concrete pads and things, but um, we're gonna have to knock out a lot of this. So how much of this is gonna have to go? What do you mean? Of the, all this, is all this concrete gonna have to go? Yeah. Those big slabs and porches? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. All right. So all this has gotta go.
get all this cleared out right here. Still gotta get all that out. And uh, what they're digging out over there and all this junk in the middle. We sent a box down here. Still gotta get all that out of here, but uh, after that, we, we just need to, all we have to do is flatten this out and we're good to go. Okay, we're back on this job this morning. We're hoping to get it done today. We still gotta get all that sand and block out of there on both sides. We got another concrete platform right here it's got to go and all this block that's underneath it should be a good time
so we are probably three quarters of the way done with this job. Um, we've got most of the concrete cleared out and piled up right here. So really the, the only thing we have left to do is to uh, get rid of this concrete, load it off and uh, flatten this out and uh, give it positive drainage and make it make it regulation so okay so we're getting ready to leave the job for the day but uh we've got a we made a lot of progress today basically all we have left to do is uh get get the uh do the grave work get the site ready for a home so we're gonna go home now okay so we're back on the job this morning we uh we're basically ready to do the grade work and get the site ready and put in the positive drainage I think the first thing we're gonna do is get this the scrap metal loaded into the dump bed so get that out of our way You gonna see it laying off the perimeter of it, or we already did, but 
What's next, guy? I don't really know. Um, Look at that corner over there. I'm not, I'm not happy with it. No. No, that's what I said. Not hurt. Not hurt. I know that. I okay. want you to go over and look at that corner over there. I'm not, I'm not happy with it. No. <laughs> you know what that means? I get my gap. Yeah. The slow fat bank on down. That's what that means. That means this right here gotta go straight down. You want to take a whole house seat down? We can take the whole house seat down right bank. Move it this way. Seems like boys we run into a problem like this in the past. It's bank to get steeper no matter what you do. Yep. And it seems like what we did was we sat around and talked about it forever and ever, wasted time, and then we ended up filling in a hole over there. And cement. Huh? Cement. Boil, yeah. Boil up concrete. Yep. Okay, so we are basically done with this job. All he's doing there is finishing tracking it in. But uh, things went pretty good here. We don't know what's gonna happen with this pole. We know it's gonna have to be moved. 
for the house to go where it's been planned to go. But um, we may have to come back and, and put that up somewhere else. But uh, we'll figure all that out. Won't be no big deal. I'm the conclusion right now. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to figure out a way to jack it up. So we was going to end that, end that video right there, but uh... Looks like... <laughs> not going to be able to do that because we have got a leak. Leaking hydraulic fluid bad somewhere. You just want to get it till you can see it. Oh, up. the ramps from the dump trailer. You just want to get it till you can see up under, don't you? What about the ramps for the dump trailer? Yeah, we can back up on them. Let's do that, what do you say? Fine with me. All right, so he had the idea we're going to pull the ramps out from the dump trailer and back the skid steer up on it and see if we can figure out where the leaks come from. Might have to take it. Out. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's coming from this line right here on up there. Listen. Too far down, Dad. Yeah. You, you. Well, son, if it's leaking up in there and running down. It ain't, I see the line. Oh, you see the line. That's yeah. a different story then. Don't we lift the cab and see if one of the fittings is loose and it's running down now that line. Now we might be able to lift the cab. I ain't gonna say we can't lift the cab and get to it. Honestly. So uh -uh. I don't know what just happened there. Nah. -uh. Swear to God. What happened, dude? I don't know. Micah, you had to hit it somehow. Look, you can see right here what happened. What? It was sitting right here. Pulled the glass back like that. And shattered it. What? You know the glass door. Like that. That handle right there. Of the cab. Standing right here and turned and and it blew into a thousand pieces. Nah, I'm telling you. That's just the way the are sitting in, how you got this bucket on the ground. Yep, just sit down and busted that glass. And busted. Just right here. Went up. Yep. When you stepped out onto it. I don't see nothing else. <coughs> Be careful, don't break any windshield wipers today.
So don't ever lift your machine up and uh, open the door and, and try to get out because as soon as he put his foot on this right here, it uh, it, 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 it uh, settled and this part raised up against the glass and shattered the glass. So now we're, we're going to have to invest in a new glass. Okay, so we got the cab up. So we're trying to see if we can see that uh, that leaking line from from here. Okay, so we're just gonna take this baby back to cats, considering it's still on the warranty. Save us a lot of work, but. Uh, Anyway, we got sidetracked there. So, other than that happening on the job, this says the job has went well. We got the pole moved. The, the electrical company came before sooner than expected while we was trying to fix that thing. So, we got the pole out and got this thing, got this thing finished. So, we're, we're good to go. Yeah. William Stink. Good man. Good on. Gotta head to Stalwart. Gotta take his baby down there. <laughs>